Sunny. And good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It's another beautiful day here in New York City. I'm currently in Union Square because today I'm working at a hospital in the East Village, which many of you probably know. It's affiliated with my main hospital. And every now and then we come down here to do rotations. So I don't really know what I'm doing today. I've actually never stepped foot in this hospital. Well, I take that back. I think I did a rotation here while I was in med school, I think. I think I did a pathology rotation here, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like that was so long ago though. Anyways, I'm out of breath for no reason. And if you want to see what this hospital is all about, and I'll let you know as soon as I know what's going on, or I'll probably just talk to you guys after the, today is over. And again, I think it's just CT guided cases today. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see what happens. And hopefully I don't get completely lost in this giant hospital. So I'm a little early, so I have some time to kill here, uh, but I was texting with one of my attendings from North Carolina about possible job opportunities. And it's kind of crazy because I have to start like looking for jobs soon, which I mean, I feel like this time would never come, honestly, but I guess it is, <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> it's a bumblebee. Um, so yeah, I guess I have to start looking for jobs, which is crazy. I just, I can't believe the six years kind of flew by and it's kind of even more scary now that I have to start looking for jobs. So I'll probably do a whole video devoted to what I plan on doing after fellowship, which is in 10 months-ish. Usually people have jobs lined up by now. I don't, because I still have no idea where I want to end up next year, slash in 10 months. So I'll do another video, like I said, devoted to this entire topic, but I just want to share that because I don't know what to do. All right, so I just finished another, actually it wasn't that long of a day, honestly. Um, did some kind of low-end procedures today. Like, you know, your typical CT guided biopsies, um, three of them to be exact. A CT guided abscess drain and, oh, a paracentesis. So super small cases, but nonetheless, we did them. It took forever to get the rooms turned over, but it is what it is. And now, I'm meeting Andriana in Union Square because she happened to be working down here today as well and and we got off at the exact same time. So I'm gonna meet her and maybe grab a bite to eat or whatnot. I don't really know where this vlog is going. I'm kind of just vlogging for the heck of it because why not? My schedule changes every week so I figured I might as well just like take you all along for the ride. And someone on my last video commented saying I'd be doctor version of Casey Neistat, which is probably the best compliment anybody's ever given me. So thank you. Sorry I did not vlog yesterday. It was one of those times where I was just like in a bad mood, you know, and had a long day at work. 
the cases were long. We only did like a few cases, but it took like literally the whole day. And I was just frustrated with like turnaround time and all this stuff. So I figured I would spare you all from my negativity of my terrible day, but went home and all was good. Now it's a fresh day today. We have a few good cases today. Also, how sad is this? It's the old comedy. The stand is the old comedy club. You can't even go into it now because COVID stuff. Anyways, we'll see how the day goes. And good morning. I hope you guys got a picture of how absolutely not crowded the subway was. That is insane to me. So back in 2010, I used to take the subway every single day from down here all the way up to the Upper East Side for work. And when I say you had to like wait for multiple trains because they were just so packed, like sardines in there. And now it's 7 a.m. right now. No one is on the train. There's like five people commuting, which I don't know. It's kind of mind blowing. I've never seen a morning commute on the subway that pleasant, if that makes any sense at all. So I don't know. This is this is crazy. So what, we're like at the end of August now and there's still no traffic on the subways? I don't know. I don't take the subway every day, but I am this week. And I'm just a little surprised by it, to say the least. I don't know what's happening around New York City right now. What is up? I just finished my last day. What am I even talking about? I just finished my last shift in the hospital for this week. And now I'm going home. Somehow my colleagues Jenna and Matt let me go early. So, well, not really that early, but it's like 4.30 on a Friday. And now I have the whole weekend off. We have a ton of different plans. It's like one of our friends birthdays, one of our friends 30th birthdays. It is my mother-in-law's birthday. And yeah, pretty packed weekend. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. And that's pretty much it for me. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I did a kyphoplasty for the first time today in a long time. And if you don't know what a kyphoplasty, it is this, which is basically when someone has a fracture of their spine or a compression fracture and the normal vertebral body collapses, we go in, basically drill two areas within that vertebral body, blow up a balloon within the body, expand it so it's back to almost normal height, and then we fill it with some really bad smelling cement. So therefore you kind of restore height to the vertebral body and the patient is most importantly, no longer in pain. So that's probably only like the third kyphoplasty I've ever done in my life, but that was actually really cool. The rep was super pumped because it was like perfect. So yeah, that's about it. Had a good day. It's Friday. Andrana's off soon. Probably meet her in a minute. Go grab a bite to eat, maybe a cocktail and relax because, because next week I'm on call for seven straight days again. And since you like my previous video so much, I might go ahead and film this video as well. We'll see. I'm actually covering a different hospital for these seven days and I've never been there in my life before. Well, that's not true, I've been there once. But it's gonna be completely different. So it should be a fun seven days. White one? Spider. Spider. Or those. Look at her, look at her, look at her. We got our balloons, and now we we're trying. Them. Now we're trying to make sure they don't fly away into the street. And then start. Also, that store was the most aggressive store for party stuff I've ever seen. I had no idea that people took blowing up balloons so seriously. Good business to go into. Yeah, I, I mean, I became a doctor. I should have been blowing up balloons all this time because they charge $14 for helium, Bye. apparently. And someone who works in the balloon business, please tell me that helium is not $14 per balloon of cost. It has to be like way cheaper than that. The upcharge is probably crazy. Learn something new every day. Happy birthday. 